Let's make one more tutorial in Autodesk Fusion. In this video, you use the Revolve, Extrad, Mirror, Fillet, and Chamfer. So open the Fusion and let's go. The first step to create this part, we will select the front plane and make this sketch. And here will be the midpoint. We will create this line here with 85 millimeters and this line here with 55 millimeters and create a line here and an arc. This arc has 45 millimeters of radius, okay? And we will revolve this profile. So go to create a sketch, select the front plane, select a line, make a line here with 85 millimeters and create another line here with 55 millimeters. Create a line here and an arc. Go to sketch mention. This arc has 45 millimeters of radius. And go to constraint, select the coincident, select the center of this arc and this line here. Okay. Finish the sketch. Go to revolve the axis. Select this line. Operation new body. Press OK. We made this. Okay. Now we'll make this cut here. So to create this cut, we'll make a line here with 15 millimeters and create this line here and this one. The distance between this line here and the midpoint is 12 millimeters. The angle between this line and the center line here is six degrees and here 15 millimeters. Okay, so let's create this in the both sides. So go to create a sketch, select the front plane, go to create, select the project included, project, selection filter, select the bodies, select this body here and press OK. I will hide this body a little bit, select the line, a construction line, make a center line here and remove the construction line type, click at this point, make a line here with 15 millimeters and create another line here and a line here, OK? Now go to sketch mention. The distance here 12 millimeters and the angle here 6 degrees. Okay, we made this. Now go to mirror, select these three lines here, and the mirror line is this construction line. Press OK. We have this profile and this one. Finish the sketch, go to extrude, show the bodies here. The direction, symmetric, the extended type, all. Operation cut, press OK. We made this cut here. OK. Now, we'll make this hole here in the right plane, OK? This hole has 44 millimeters of diameter, and this is vertical with the midpoint and horizontal with this edge here, OK? So let's create this. Go to create a sketch, select the right plane, select a circle, make a circle here with 44 millimeters, and go to constraint, select horizontal vertical, select this point and this point here, this point and the midpoint. Okay, we made this. Finish the sketch, go to extrude, the direction, symmetric, distance, all. Operation cut, press OK. We made this cut here. OK. Now we'll make this cut here. OK. The distance between this face here and the midpoint here is 10 millimeters. So we will select the right plane and the right plane will be here in the center. And when we will make a cut, we use the offset with 10 millimeters to cut from this face to this side, okay? And the sketch that we'll make, we'll make this sketch here, this profile. It is a simple profile. It is an offset from this edge here with 8 millimeters, okay, of distance. So here, go to create, select the right plane. And go to create again, select the project included, project, the selection filter, select the specified entities, select this face and press OK. 
I will hide this bar a little bit. We made this, okay? Now go to modify, select the offset, remove the chain selection, and select this line, this arc, and this line here. And the distance here is 8 millimeters, okay? We have this profile. So finish the sketch, go to extrude, show the body one. The start, select the offset. The distance here is 10 millimeters. The direction, one side, the extended type, select the all. Look that the cut will begin from 10 millimeters of the right plane, okay? We made this, okay? Now we will select the right plane again, but we will make this cut here. We will make this profile and the cut will be here. We will use the offset again, but the offset here will be seven millimeters, okay? And here to create this profile, we will create an arc here with 29 millimeters of radius and create an arc here with four millimeters of radius and create this line. This line is, is tangent with this arc and the distance between this line here and this edge is eight millimeters, okay? So let's create this. Go to create a sketch, select the right plane and go to create and select the project included project select this face and press ok i will hide this bar a little bit now here select the arc center point arc click here in the midpoint make an arc here go to sketch dimension the radius here is 29 millimeters now select the line here make an arc here and make a line here Okay, go to constraint, select the tangent, select this arc and this line here. Go to sketch dimension. The radius here is four millimeters and the distance between this point and this point here is eight millimeters. And the distance between the center of the arc and the midpoint is 28 millimeters, okay? 28 millimeters here, okay? Now select the line again, go to construction line type, make a construction line here and go to constraint, select horizontal vertical, select this point and this point here. And now select the mirror, select this arc and this line and the mirror line, select this construction line and press OK. Let me see what is happening here. Sorry, I made this wrong here. Let me remove this point, sorry. Make this coincident here. Okay. We made this, we have this profile. Finish the sketch. Select this profile, go to extract. Show the body one. The start here will be offset and the distance seven millimeters. The extended type, all. And press okay. We made this cut here, okay? Now, we will select uh, this face here, go to create a sketch, select this face, okay? And we will create this slot here, okay? So to create this slot, the first thing that we'll make, we'll create uh, a circle here, or we will create this arc, sorry. This arc has 38 millimeters of radius and it is concentric with this arc here, okay? And the radius of this slot is seven millimeters. And the angle between this point here and the center line here is 30 degrees. So let's create this. Go to create, select the slot three point arc slot select click here and this point at this point make an arc here okay and go to constraint select quite centric select this arc and this circle here okay 
and go to sketch dimension the radius here 38 millimeters okay now select line a construction line click here in the midpoint make a line between the center point and this arc here okay this arc must be the center of this arc must be coincident with this point if it is not coincident we'll go to constraint midpoint select this arc and select this point okay and here go to line again make a line here and go to sketch dimension the angle here 30 degrees and the radius here is seven millimeters of radius okay we made this show the body one and finish the sketch go to extract select this profile the extended type all flip the direction operation cut and press ok we made this cut here okay now go to create and select the mirror and the object type select the features we will select this cut here this one and this one and the mirror plane select the right plane and press ok we made the same here the both sides okay now to finish this we will create the chamfer with one millimeters in the red faces here okay the chamfer here in the slot and the chamfer here in the circles in the both sides so go to modify select the chamfer select this edge this edge this edge here and this one one millimeters here press ok we made this now we needed to create the fillets we have a fillet here with five millimeters of radius and in the yellow edge here the fillet is two millimeters okay so go to modify select the fillet select this edge here this one the fillet here is five millimeters now add selection set select this edge here and this one the fillet here is two millimeters and press ok we made this now we add some color here press letter a in the keyboard let me move this a little bit here so here we finish our exercise so thanks for watching subscribe my channel for more and see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe bye bye